Namaskar my friends. In this video I am going to solve a problem of vectors and also discuss with the basic concepts that is needed for the further cases so as to solve this sort of questions in very short steps. Here is the questions, very simple questions. So in this question, so a particle is moving eastwards with a velocity of 5 meter per second. Eastwards with a velocity of 5 meter per second. This can be represented by this vector diagram. And uh, the magnitude of 5 meter per second uh, direction of eastwards. So here is the length. Length uh, represents the magnitude arrowed represents the eastwards that is the east so in 10 seconds in 10 seconds and the velocity got changed uh, northwards the magnitude is same but direction has changed so here we have a uh, two vectors one is ba and another is bb and uh, finally we have asked to find the average accelerations of the particles in the in this time interval and also sketch the vector diagram so to calculate the average accelerations by definition we have a formula average acceleration means the rate of change in velocity so first we need to calculate the change in velocity and the change in velocity can be calculated by this formula And uh, finally, we have to sketch out uh, the vector diagram. So, vector diagram can be drawn by two methods. First one is the according to triangle of vectors, and the next one is according to the parallelogram law of vectors. And a parallelogram law of vector is very simple and easy to understand. So, let's try to sketch the diagrams according to the parallelogram law of vectors. So, here we have a coincided. Uh, these two vectors these two vectors means we have a vector a and we have a vector b so these two vectors are arranged with their tail and tail coincided and this is the vector minus b because uh, in the change in velocity we have we have a negative of b a so this one and this is the resultant of these two vectors this is the change in velocity and the magnitude of the change in velocity is given by these equations. If we put all this value, we will finally get the answer of magnitude of change in velocity as 5 to meter per second. And the finally, we have asked to find the average acceleration. Acceleration is the vector quantity. So we have to calculate the magnitude and direction of average acceleration. First, let me calculate the magnitude of acceleration. So this is the formula. Uh, if we put all this value, we will finally get the average acceleration of 1 by root 2 meter per second square. Now the direction of acceleration. Direction of acceleration is obviously northwest. Northwest means exactly midway between north and west. Uh, here you can see in the figure. Uh, this is the vector B and this is the negative of vector A. These two vectors are perpendicular to each other and this is the resultant of these two vectors and uh, this is the angle of 45 degree and this is the angle of 45 degree. So uh, this is the exactly midway between north and west. So the direction is due northwest. So in this way, these uh, questions can be solved. Thanks for watching.